Okay, this video is going to be again very short and again this video is going to be only for those of you who don't really know how to configure your computer settings. Only for those of you who are used to check, uh, to use your computer only to check your online inbox of the emails or for example to create uh, very, to perform very simple tasks. Uh, in this video we're going to show you how to create a repair disk for your system. And again, I will give you an example. You have purchased a brand new computer and it, it works perfectly without any problems. Your system works perfectly. However, with the time, your system might get corrupted. You may uh, lose files and that could cause your system to, to work slow or even not be able to, to start, to boot. For that reason, it is very important to have a repair disk, which you can use uh, at the point of booting your computer and from that repair disk you can repair startup files or startup processes and this could save you a lot of money not only for IT services because for example uh, the people in the local IT shop they could offer you uh, their services to create that repair disk for you but you will also save additional money in case uh, uh, you, you, you cannot boot your operating system and you have to purchase a brand new operating system. But if you have a repair disk, then you can simply repair those uh, missing files and you will be able to boot again and to use your current operating system without giving money away just for a second operating system. What do you have to do? Just start your computer, go here, open the control panel. Okay, I need to choose that option. It's quicker for me. And now I go back up and restore. And from that point, I have to choose create a system repair disk. Yes, it's really that simple. You just have to choose that option. And here I can choose a drive where I can create, I can save those uh, uh, repair files. And it also says a system repair disk can be used to boot your computer. It also contains Windows system recovery tools that can help you recover your Windows from a serious error or restore your computer from a system image. Once I have chosen that option and I have put the disk in the D drive, then I can start creating the system repair disk. Of course, now I will not start that process because I simply don't need it. But you can click here and continue creating that repair disk. And again, that was a very simple video and which, which shows you how to create that system repair disk and save some money. If you want to learn any new interesting things and save some more money, then watch us here. Thank you.